Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. This is our last tutorial for our employee database, and I'm going to show you and talk to you a little bit about protecting and unprotecting, uh, why we need to do that, and how we can do it very easily with our VBA code. Let's open our VBA editor with Alt and F11. We'll click into here. Now, into our module is where we would run our protect and unprotect code. I'll just expand this to cover our whole screen. But what we want to do is we want to, right from the outset, when someone opens the workbook, we want to run this macro that says protect all. And then from time to time, because we're running advanced filters, and advanced filters, to run them, you need to unprotect your worksheet. Simple as that. And particularly if you're working across sheets. So we're going to unprotect it, run our advanced filter, and then we're going to reprotect it after we've done the work of running that filter. But for the majority of your VBA code, if you include this little piece of information, see it here, user interface only equals true, and if when your workbook opens, so you notice now we're over on this workbook, you run that macro. So when the workbook opens, we're going on error resume, next sheet to select, protect all. We're running the macro to protect everything. If you do that, just go back here to our module, if you run this piece of code when the workbook opens, then you won't need to unprotect the worksheet for running all the other macros, but you will for an advanced filter. Okay? Now, here's the unprotect code, and you'll notice both of these codes, this is a for each loop in here, and we've got a for each loop in here. There's a whole tutorial on my website if you want to have a look at it that deals with protecting and unprotecting your worksheets. And if you want to leave certain sheets out, how you can use a select statement, case statement, a select case statement, or the if statement in doing that. So, but you can search for that in the website just by typing in protect and unprotect into the search box on the home page. Now, Simply, it just loops through all the, the, the worksheets. We look at this code, and it says protect them with the password online. That's our password. If you wanted to change this password, well, what would you need to do? Well, you'd need to run this macro, unprotect. So you click in there and hit F5 to run to unprotect everything, obviously, because we need to make sure that the passwords aren't there now. Then you'd go and change the password here in the unprotect and also in the protect. If you try to change the password here now, while the sheets are protected and then run it again, it's, it's going to be the wrong password, obviously. So you're going to need to unprotect everything first before you change your password. Okay, having said that, once we go, let's have a look at our employee database here. There's a, a few times all the way through this that you're going to have to protect and unprotect the sheet. Uh, here it is here in our edit, for instance, we, um, you notice all the way through it'll be commented out, and by commented out I mean it'll have a, an apostrophe in front of it like that on the code in the website. You need to get rid of that so that the, we'll call that macro and run it. Now you're going to find those protect and unprotect, um, calling those macros I should say, in the edit, you're going to find them in the delete, now you're going to find that also in the contact one. Why is that? Because we want to run the advanced filter to get the new set of data to populate our list box. So there it is there. You'll find it several times in the code down here. And if there's an error handler, you'll find it in the error handle as well. So make sure you go through those three macros and uncomment those um, macros so they can run. Now, the other thing I thought I'd just quickly mention to you, you should always protect your worksheets. And in fact, you, you might want to even protect your VBA editor. How do you do that? Well, click up the top, right click, choose VBA Project Properties, Protection over here, Lock Project from Viewing, click onto that, put in your password and confirm it in here and click OK. Now, I'm telling you now, if you do that, write the password down. If you lose the password, you won't be able to get back into your VBA code. All right, but you should do that to stop people doing it, and you should make sure that you have a little book or something with that password written in for that particular project. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. The only other thing that I think we haven't done on this project, we'll need to add this code into here, which will be on the website. We'll also be putting in the two protect and unprotect modules, which again I'll put on the website. And I think the other thing we haven't as yet done is on this clear all button, you'll just need to add this piece of code, which calls the macro, that clears all the data on the user form. Well, this is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. That's the end of our tutorial series for this fantastic little employee database. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I hope you're having a really great day. Bye for now.